what's our topic today? We're talking about beverages. Beverages. Very important. Beverage. So, question one. Do you enjoy drinking a beverage? And how many cups do you drink per day? Okay, so I'm not a coffee drinker. Neither am I. So um, how I get my energy, like I used to actually be a big uh, Coca-Cola drinker. Okay. Because that gave me my sugar and some caffeine. Mm. Uh, now, I actually, I, people tell me I should quit this habit, but I drink uh, Monster Energy drinks. Okay. So that's just, it's how I get in, get into the zone and focus. I, I so and I might drink like two of those a day. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then usually like I'm drinking a lot of water. I drink lot. a lot of water. And then I might have like a sweet tea or a milk tea in the, yeah. day, in the day. How about so, yourself? I am a fiend for a green tea latte. I will okay. have a green tea latte all day. But okay. I, I try to limit <laughs> ice my... Ice or hot? Ice. Okay. Oh, it depends. Winter hot, winter hot. Okay. Summer ice, stunning. Okay. Um, I have two of those if I'm feeling rich. Yeah. Um, one if I'm not. And then otherwise I drink about a litre and a half of water a day. Yeah. Um, and then I only, recently, because I've been trying to lose weight, I only allow myself fizzy drinks on a Friday and Saturday. Oh. So, so you say fizzy drinks? Yeah. Yeah, like like some people might say carbonated drinks. Oh, carbon. Oh, because uh, yeah, British. Yeah, but, yeah, but all in Canada we say pop. We we so right. We used to say pop in the UK. Like my yeah. grandmother would probably say pop. Yeah. yeah. But um, we say fizzy drink or a uh, yeah fizzy drink because yeah. it could be anything. Yeah. Okay. Great. Uh, number two. If you could have coffee with a famous person, living or dead, who would it be and why? Coffee or a green tea latte? No, I know. Yeah. You go first. I'm, I've got to think. Uh, who would I do? Jeez. Uh, uh, who, who? That's a famous... I'm trying to think about someone that's passed that's da, that I really wanted to hang out with. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so there was uh, this Canadian comedian, uh, Norm Macdonald. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he passed away like uh, two years ago. And actually, this was probably one of the only like uh, celebrity deaths that really like hit me. And like, whoa, because also he uh, he uh, he had cancer and he was like, okay. suffering actually for 10 years. But he let no one know, like okay. only like only his family and a few friends. You know, but he didn't publicly uh, advertise it. And just one day he passed away and people were shocked. That he had, he had leukemia, and people were just shocked that like, that he kept this secret for so long. So I would like to have cough. I would like to have a drink with him because, like, his death just caught no was just it's really was surprising. surprising. And, like, okay. So so it felt like yeah, he left the world with uh, still some questions unanswered. Ah, mine I think would be I've got three or yeah. two more than anything. So I love K-pop yeah. and. Jong Hyun from Shiny, yeah. who unfortunately we, we we're no longer with, and uh, Sally from FX, mm -hmm. because genuinely, mm -hmm. like I I really like music. Their mm -hmm. music actually changed my life. Do want to fight them if mm -hmm. I make it up to those pearly gates for them mm -hmm. leaving the rest of my boys and girls struggling. <laughs> okay. But um, that's part of the reason. I want yeah. to know what his vocals would have sounded like on a couple of the tracks, and I'm going to sit there and make yeah. him sing them for me. Yeah, if I had a <laughs> Korean celebrity, it would be UJ Suk. Because, okay, yeah, okay. Because like he's uh, the the king of comedy here. Yeah. Um, if I I guess if it was a, a a Western person, probably Joe Rogan because I just okay. like because I just like I like a lot of the stuff that he does on social media. It seems kind of cool, and I want to yeah. hang out with him. Okay. Yeah. So, question three: Do you have withdrawal symptoms if you don't drink caffeine? Yeah. <laughs> so straight to the point. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You, you. Go, I went first last time. Yeah. So, I mean, I have the natural energy of a crack-headed five-year-old yeah. that has had way too much sugar, so I don't have that much caffeine in my body, like injected, as it were. Mm -hmm. But um, I think it really depends. That's why I tried to quit drinking so many fizzy drinks because yeah. I really think that the the caffeine was too much for me mm -hmm. when I was already so bouncy. Mm -hmm. Like I'd be like vibrating. Yeah. Um, so I think. At first I did, because yeah. I can actually feel it. If I drink on a Friday and a Saturday, loads of fizzy drinks, yeah. on the Sunday and on the Monday, yeah. I feel like I need a fizzy drink. I'll like walk to the, the store and I'm like, don't go in, yeah. because I just shouldn't. Yeah. But I do feel that withdrawal symptom. What about you? Yeah. So, uh, so <clears throat> caffeine, yeah, I, well, if I don't have caffeine, I feel like my mind can't focus. Okay. And, my, and brings up, well, like, so like I could finally focus with the caffeine in my head and then also, like it brings up my energy a little bit if I if I don't do it and I've tried to break it, 
like uh, I'm, I'll feel very lethargic, and even like uh, for like the first two days, I'll get headaches from the withdrawal. Okay. Um, but like people think this is something I read too is like people think that caffeine gives them energy, but it's actually the opposite. Caffeine blocks uh, the the chemicals in your brain that are signs that you're tired. Ah. Uh, so people think, oh yeah, it's giving them energy, but actually no, it's, it's just not, blocking. It's just stopping block- you from thinking you're yeah, tired. Yeah, yeah, it's the your, your your brain's not experiencing the natural reactions it would have when it's tired. Yeah, it's not pushing or pulling. Yeah. You're just at a standstill. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So, question four: What's your favorite type of beverage and why? My favorite type. Uh, I I like beer. Okay. Yeah. So like, uh, it's, I shouldn't drink it. It makes me fat. <laughs> And I drink too much, so I also get drunk sometimes. But I, I like it because also it's uh, a beverage that brings people together mm. and like just chatting. It, it really, it, uh, I know. It, well, it, I'm not sure if you're a big drinker. I drink a lot. I just yeah. don't like beer. Yeah. But I will drink any spirit. Yeah, spirit. Yeah, alcohol. Yeah, but beer's cheaper, so that's why I might go there. Yeah. Um, but it's yeah, it just allows you to also have a good time and like, yeah, and party. I mine is probably a fizzy drink. Mm-hmm. Korea, I'd say a cider or a Welch's. Mm-hmm. We don't have Welch's in the UK, and she's stunning. Yeah. Um, or a Fanta pineapple. We don't have that in the UK either. Yeah. So, but like any kind of fizzy drink, I'm a sucker for it. If yeah. someone offers, apart from a Coke, because Coke makes me very gassy. Uh, I would say if there wasn't an alcoholic beverage, and I would, I would. For I, I loved actually Arizona green teas. Oh yes, 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 and I. What they used to they used to be ninety nine cents in Canada and it was like almost it was like seven hundred milliliters for ninety nine cents and a flavor not anymore yeah not anymore <laughs> but I lo- I love those when they and I wish I could go back to those. <laughs> um, do you want to say the sure. question? Uh, number five. Yep. Yeah. Uh, what kind of coffee do you prefer the most? Black latte. Share your taste. Right. I really hate coffee. I hate the taste of coffee, but. <laughs> If I have to drink a coffee, which they give us a lot on set, I mm-hmm. will put so much sugar and so much milk in it mm-hmm. that I cannot taste the coffee. Oh. And to be honest, that's me with every beverage I have. As long as it has got enough sugar to start five toddlers jumping over a fence, mm-hmm. I will absolutely drink that drink. Yeah, for me, like, yeah, I don't like the flavor of coffee. Even like the smell of like roasted coffee. Is oh, I like of- the smell actually. Yeah. Um, but I, this is like this is probably a, a Canadian joke. And there's like on how do you like your coffee? Uh, it was, and they go crisp, because there's a chocolate bar called Coffee Crisp. Oh. Uh. So it's, it's like on how do you like coffee? I like it crisp. You like it crisp? I like it crisp. I like my coffee crisp. <laughs> so it's a it's an advertisement in Canada for a chocolate bar, and that's the only ca- ch- coffee flavored thing I can actually tolerate. Uh we we had we have like a joke yeah. as well in the UK. I mean, it's probably all around the world, yeah. but. One, it's so problematic but someone said to my um one of my friends how do you like your coffee yeah and she was like i like my coffee like i like my men dark and strong yeah and i think about that so often yeah there's uh, there's different places different there. iterations yeah. of it so question six which cafes do you prefer is there a specific reason for visiting this cafe so when I was studying Korean, I would go to Tom and Tom's Cafe to okay. study. Okay, lovely uh, cake at Tom and yeah, Tom's. Yeah, uh, uh, so like I would have st- like a, a Coke or I would have, you know, a, a milk tea. Mm-hmm. But also they have like, uh, they had like actually good like breads and like pep- yeah. uh, pretzels. Pretzels. Yeah. So I would go there. Uh, now like there's other, I would, the cafes I like to go to are basically like cheap places that give a good Wi-Fi. Size. Wi-Fi. Yeah. <laughs> they have Wi-Fi, but also give like have, give like a good quantity of a drink at a good price. Is it a mega coffee? Yeah, I love a mega coffee. Uh, uh, I was uh, earlier this week. I was at Palgong, like cha yeah. cha house, t- yeah, tea yeah. house, and I'm like going what three thousand one for like a taro milk tea. I'm like going okay. I'm coming here a lot. Listen, tell you about that one, and then have you, have you been to Fiesta Seven? No. In Hong- right. Whoever's watching this, you get yourself to Fiesta Seven. Best beverages I've tasted in South oh, really? Korea. So cheap as well. Uh, a green tea latte, three thousand. Best thing I've ever tasted. Uh, I will literally scream down the street for that. This isn't and a promotion. Been, it's not a promotion, but <laughs> no. if they want to hire me, yeah. And I've um, they opened a new one, so my friends and I are very excited. Yeah. Love that. Um, but also because cafe culture in Korea is so much different to yeah. the UK, like. 
we don't have all of these cafes with this aesthetic and everything. Yeah. Like my friends and I love to go there. It's so cute. Yeah. So oh, yeah. in, in in Canada, like people don't hang out at a cafe. No, 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 no. no same. It's, all, it's always they go into a coffee shop or a cafe, just grab Get their the coffee, coffee and go, go and drink exactly. it on the go. But in Korea, the, it's like the a coffee culture down. is you sit down. And that's probably why the coffee here is much more expensive. Yeah, exactly. You're getting the ambiance with yep. the coffee. Yeah. Uh, do you want to read the next Question one? Question seven. How do you like to pair beverages with food? Do you have any combinations or pairings that are your favorite? Mm, okay. Well, when I like charcuterie, well, so if I'm having a wine, like the, a good charcuterie board, mm. which has like, you know, some salami, some cheese, some crackers. Mm. And those, like I, I've taken like actually some wine pairing classes. Oh, and an like, educated just try, man. Yeah, just, well, I don't know any of it. I'm just like, well, <laughs> wine's good. Cheese is good. good. Cheese is good. Nom. Nom. <laughs> oh, the cheese with a, like a spicy salami and nom. The red, nom. <laughs> so, like, usually, like, well, I think we're, they're even like uh, the Korean culture. How about, well, there's the Korean culture of like sosam. Yeah. Soju, soju sam and samgyotsa. And chimek. Oh, chimek, yeah. Chimek, Chicken and beer. Uh, pimek. Pizza, p- pizza and beer. Pizza and beer. Oh, okay. Yeah. I haven't heard that one. Yeah. Um, my, to be honest, like I, in Korea, I drink soju yeah. with anything. Yeah. I'm quite a fiend for that. But I mean, we, because I'm European, right? So yeah. mostly it's wine with any food, mm-hmm. um, especially pasta, breads, mm-hmm. um, those kinds of things. Or what else? Um, look. With s- sweets and things, like um, my family used to tend to have coffee or tea in the evening with okay. cake. Yeah. Very British, tea and cake. <laughs> um, so, um, so that, like, we genuinely would have afternoon Did tea. Did you have, like, tea? Oh, yeah, tea time. Tea afternoon. time oh, at my grandparents' house. Well, after school, I used to have tea time as well. Yeah. My mum used to make me a sandwich. Yeah. But, like, with my grandparents, we'd have, like, cups of tea in the, the teapot. Yeah freshly brewed with cake and everything well like in my neighborhood uh like there's always in everyone's house there's always a pot going of tea yeah my mother drinks tea all through the day that's me doesn't drink water at all oh really yeah she just drinks tea it's like tea 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 and like i would always she would be like jeffrey get me a cup of tea oh she's british British Uh, no no she's a scottish canadian but it's like canadians drink a lot of tea which is maybe a difference between Canadians and Americans. Americans, yeah. The Americans More had coffee. like when they when they had their uh their liberation from the British Empire, yeah. they had the big event of the Boston Tea, tea party. party. So like they threw cases, millions of like tons of tea into the Boston Harbor to uh rebel against the British. Yeah. So the Americans don't really drink that that Earl Grey tea. <laughs> uh number eight uh, do you think you can seduce other by others by drinking coffee instead of alcohol? Hmm. So. No, uh, no, I, I think it depends. It depends if you're going on a date and what kind of date you're wanting to go on. If you go on a cafe date and you want to spend time with them, yeah. drink, have like a nice hot coffee and you want, if you want to go during the day, I mean, have a hot coffee at night, but then it's also like kind of different vibes of yeah. what you're trying to do. I, I guess this is like the cliche of like when you see a, a cute girl in the bar and you're like, oh, hey, can I buy you a drink? Yeah. Can you substitute, hey, can I buy you a coffee? But some people meet in cafes. They yeah, think that's like, cuter nowadays. I think, yeah, yeah. Like oh, people, like, yeah, like it's I, people when they want to show like well, when they're drunk, yeah, it's buy you a drink. But, you know, yeah. if you, when someone wants to show interest, they're like, oh, hey, can I buy you a cup of coffee? Can I mean, can I get your number? Can we go out for a cup of coffee? Yeah. So that's, yeah, the more innocent. So, yeah, I agree. Maybe you can seduce someone with a cup of coffee or offering a cup of coffee, a date on it with the, just like a cup of coffee. Yeah. But I think so. I think that's more like on, hey, like saying that, like, can I buy you a cup of coffee? Is like you're actually saying, hey, can I get to know you? Yeah, exactly. Well, in a bar, like, hey, can I buy you a drink? Is like, it's basically the subtext is a guy going, hey, I think you're sexy. Yeah, exactly. Different iterations. Yeah. Question nine. Do you have a favorite brand of beverage that you always buy? Or do you like to try new things? Uh, so when it's fizzy drink, pop, Coca-Cola. Okay. Uh, then I... Yeah, I, I guess you know, they're just that for that's like the only brand loyalty I guess have to uh, beverages. Okay, um, I think here cider. I know I can't go wrong with a cider or yeah. a Welch's or a pineapple Fanta. I mean, okay. 
The orange Fanta is very nice here, yeah. but it's definitely not the EU regulated Fanta I'm used to. Okay. It's very orange. Like I noticed this when I went to America as well. Like Fanta in the UK is practically yellow, okay. like orange oh, really? Fanta. I think it's because we have less additives and things like that in there, mm -hmm. because obviously there's the EU regulation standard, which isn't the same standard for America and for yeah. Korea and China or wherever. So the orange Fanta here is very orange to me. Okay. Um, and otherwise, like with coffees and things, like I tend to, I actually stick away from Starbucks. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just not a big Starbucks yeah. person. Well, yeah, like when people do want to meet for coffee, I said, oh, let's go anywhere but Starbucks. No, but yeah, I like because small, I small know, businesses. Yeah, they don't have, well, they, yeah, it, they don't have as many options as other places. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Um, and then the final question, if you could make a drink with any ingredients, but it be, had to be absolutely disgusting, what would you put in it? Mm. If I can make anything, any drink, but I have to make it disgusting, what would it be? Oh, man. Uh, Bondegi. I can't... <laughs> Like that's the most disgusting thing that comes to mind. I can't, like I I wrench when I even smell it. Is that stinky tofu? No, no, that's a uh, silkworm larvae in, oh. in like in soya sauce or something like that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It, so that's that's. Mine will probably be stinky tofu in a blender with something disgusting, yeah. some hot sauce. Or... I think may I might be turned off by stinky tofu, but I think I might be able to like grow it, but. Bundy, I can't even like eat shrimp too because of an allergy. Oh, I've got a shrimp so allergy as well. Like yeah, even because it's a bug too, it will make me sick. It's just kind of in that category yeah, so of just, not going to happen. Yeah, like, <laughs> uh, I, like uh, I've been like walking down the street and I go under a bridge and there is an, an ajima selling bundegi, and just like this whiff of wind comes under the bridge <laughs> and just hits her, and then all the smell goes up my nose, and I was just uh, flat uh, on the floor. Uh, Ew. Uh, yeah, I was just, it's so, it smells so bad. Mm. I, I give it as a gag. <laughs> like, oh man. So that's, that would be my one ingredient to make something absolutely disgusting. Mm. Right. Well, that's all 10 questions for the topic of beverages. I hope you enjoyed it. Okay. Um, if you have further questions about Colcom, you could reach them on their website at colcom.co.kr. I've been Jeff. I've been Ryan. Thank you very much. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye bye.